What is up? Welcome to another video. We are newbie RV owners traveling throughout the 50 states on an epic fishing journey. Started in Delaware, made our way down to Florida, and now we're over in New Mexico. If y'all have been watching the videos, we were in the desert for a little bit, but now we're climbing our way up to some really good fishing areas. Today could go a lot of different ways. I don't think I've really ever done anything like this, but let me just say, man, if you guys have been enjoying the content recently, please make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It really does help out that channel. It means a lot to me, man. Also, if you're new here or if you have not yet already, make sure to go Go down there hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload the state of new mexico continues to surprise me we're going to talk about all that i don't know if you guys can see that back there but there's like a pond there's actually two ponds here we're in like the middle of nowhere beautiful mountains around us these ponds could be really freaking cool i'm gonna try to become one with the new mexicanian fish first though we have to go over to this office i'll show you guys kind of what's going on hi Hello. how's it going can i get one fishing day pass please just you today yep no visitors or anything with you no the rest of you are on the back with Okay, thank you so much. Thanks, you too. Sheesh, okay. $20. Oh, all right. So most of you guys know I'm from Delaware. This is so much different here, man. This part of New Mexico. We were in the boonies for a while. Like, there was literally nothing around us. We finally got to this area. It's a lot more civilized. Like, we had Chick-fil-A. I haven't had Chick-fil-A in, like, months, dude. But it seems like, oh, can you guys see that? That's some nice water. Seems like uh, this is kind of the fishing in New Mexico, like around this area. I was on Google and it seems like there's a couple different places like this. They're like pay to fish ponds that they stock. And then I guess you come here, you spend all your money and you uh, can catch some fish. Interesting thing about this pond and why I want to fish it so bad is that they stock trout in here. Now here's the thing, they stock the trout in the winter months, which right now I guess technically it's spring-ish, I, I don't know. They said in the warmer months they stock catfish there is still a possibility though i have hope the guy yesterday was saying there should still be trout in here so kelsey and i were walking around here yesterday i saw a bass we saw a freaking beaver on our way to chick-fil-a we saw a coyote i've never even seen a coyote all right let's start let's start right here man there's like a whole big pond right here and there's actually another separate pond i don't know which one's better i should have asked the lady we're gonna start here though this water looks so nice so uh yeah let me just break it down what we're doing real quick we got two setups we got the mock light super ultra light we got six pound test and we have a little silver spinner on there i mean if there are trout in here i don't know if they've seen stuff like this maybe they want the more power bait i really don't know i'm not in tune with the new mexican fish state of mind but here's the other one you guys already know we got the mock two and on here we actually put a leader since the water is actually pretty clear we have a little ned rig I saw bass pushed up pretty far and we saw some decent sized ones. I think today we're gonna get our freaking money's worth, man. I'm gonna fish out here for as long as I can. She said 6.30. The sun doesn't stay here till like eight. I don't know, it's so random, all this stuff. So we have a $20 wristband, we got water, and we got a dream. Start this thing up here. First cast with the spinner. I just, dude, I would be so happy to catch a trout. I mean, there has to be at least one still in here, right? I don't know when the last time they actually stocked it was. Oh, that looks so good in the water. Oh my gosh. I also have a secret trout lure if the spinner doesn't work. I don't know. We're going to be walking around doing a lot of stuff today. I, I mean, how can we not catch at least one trout? Pond fishing for trout is just like very like foreign to me. In Delaware, they stocked two ponds. I'm definitely more of like a moving water trout fishing kind of person. Keep walking down this way. It's just like there's so many different places and areas for these fish to go, you know? You think they behave more like bass? Like, do they stick more to the cover and structure? I wonder where they stocked them as well. Oh, there's somebody fishing over here. There's a lot of people fishing here. Place is making bank, dude. Hello? Dude, this place is cashing out. Seems like everybody's just baiting and waiting too, which, I mean, it makes sense, I guess, if you're catfishing. Or maybe even people are power bait fishing? Maybe? I don't know, everybody's just sitting around. Maybe this is not the New Mexican way, or at least this pond way. Maybe I'm just like 
the freaking weirdo out here. What is that? Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Surrounded by people over there. Oh, let me get back over here. I thought that was a trout, dude, the way it jumped. <sighs> On the silver spinner. <laughs> All right, man, first one of the day. Beautiful little largey. I thought it was a trout. What's up? Ah, uh, a little spinner. All right, trusty old silver spinner. That was cool. That was a good feel of that. First sort of the day. I wasn't really talking very loud. I just want to respect my fellow fishermen. And uh, I don't know. Like If somebody's not catching stuff, you don't want to be over here like, oh, oh my God. I guess the main thing we're going to be testing out now. I mean, is this wristband worth it, man? Is it worth the $20 or is it a fashion accessory? Things are about to get serious. We are about to bring out the secret of all secrets. This is the Takashi 69 Panther Martin Spitter. It's like a colorful, glittery, shiny, rainbowy. Ooh. Dude, tell me someone's not gonna smack that. Tell me the sole survivor trout is not gonna find that and be like, oh my gosh, this is what I've been waiting for. All right, so we're discovering some stuff. This is kind of like one big puzzle coming out here to do spot, paid fish pond. Seems like a lot of people are out here to just catch catfish and to get their limit, which apparently is five. When Kelsey checked us in yesterday, the guy was saying that you can release, I think catfish, bass, I think that's it. Literally everything else, I think you have to keep, which is kind of interesting because on like this paper they gave me, they said you have to take everything you catch. So I, I'm not exactly sure. This looks actually kind of good. Little down tree right here. Little Ned rig action. There's one. There's one on the edge of the reeds right there. Oh, dude, it looks so cool in the water. Oh, it's on this 6'9", too. Come here, boy. Oh, not bad, dude, another nice-ish one. Second one of the day on the Takashi. Dude, look, he's got some teeth, man. Really, I mean, I think that's the key here. Just reeds and other cover structure these fish could be in. Thank you so much, buddy. So pretty when they're in that water, dude. It looks so freaking cool. All right, having some success. Not like anything crazy, crazy. Not a trout yet. The trout dream is still alive. There's like a tumbleweed in the water right there. I did just have to say that we're not like in the trout fishing, trout fishing part of New Mexico yet. There is apparently like really good trout fishing like north of us. It's pretty decently far. We're gonna make our way up that way though. And that is going to be hopefully freaking epic. I don't know though, dude. Let me know in the comments. Should I check out some more of these ponds? Like pay to fish places around here. Very interesting. Again, it's just like one big puzzle, you know? You just kind of look around, see what exactly is going on. So far, dude, we're not doing too bad though, man. All right, we're coming back here today yet again. Unfortunately, we, we did it. It is a weekend, it is Saturday. There are a ton of people, I believe, over there. Today we're gonna switch things up just a little bit. All right, the time has come. We are going deep into the trenches. Wow, look at all these cars everywhere. The whole outside of this place is freaking lined with cars and people. Yesterday, I just got to admit, man, I hit a wall. We were driving for four hours the day before through the mountains, everything, these higher elevations. It's just like, it's been nonstop. Fishing, filming, fishing, filming, editing for the other channel, filming for that channel, which like, I'm not complaining at all. I would not trade this for the world. I'm literally living out my dream. I cannot thank you guys enough for, you know, allowing me to do this. But it's just like, you know, I just got a little tired, man. 
saw your video from New Mexico the other day. Really? Shout out to Logan. I actually just ran into him. He said he's watching the video. He's out here fishing. He told me some stuff about this place. Apparently, there are some big old grass carp in here. I don't know if they eat corn. I've only ever caught one grass carp before, and that was in Florida, and we were catching them on Wonder Bread. I just cannot get over how many people are out here fishing, dude. So this video has kind of just been like all over the place. Today, though, we're going in with the heavy weapons. The whole kernel corn, the Walmart brand. I don't know what the heck uh, these other people are using out here to catch catfish. Yesterday I saw they were like using all the catfish stuff, I guess. Chicken liver, stink bait. I mean, really with all those baits, you can't go wrong, but I do wonder if anybody's out here using the good old kernel corn. I feel like it's one of the most effective, but forgotten about baits. I mean, there's so many other things, you know, you got worms, all those other, you know, when you think about catfish, baits, all right, we got people to the right, people to the left. We're out here on this little point again. This is where I caught that bass yesterday. We got this whole little thing to ourselves, man. The wind's blowing at us. Looks like there's a nice drop off out in front. All right, so this is the setup we got for catfish. Again, shout out to this place. It's pretty cool because they have like trash cans everywhere. It's nice, you know, not seeing a bunch of litter on the ground. All right, so here we go. We got this little egg sinker, free to move, going down to a snap swivel. I didn't know where my swivels were, so we found this snap swivel. It goes down to a leader, which goes down to, I believe this is a two-aught circle hook. And we are throwing this on our super tiny, I think this is an ultralight rod. If we get bit on this, dude, well, when we get bit, we're going to be in for a freaking ride. All right. So what I'm going to do here, man, looks kind of sus, but I think the fish will not mind. These people are bumping music over here to the right. So all we're going to do, man, I think this drops off pretty freaking good. I'm going to take this, launch that out there. Just loosen the drag. I think we're gonna do the bag strap. Yeah. Stay away from the giant ant hills. Dude, this place, I don't know. Is that like a New Mexican thing? There are so many big old freaking ant hills. We are in there. Corn on the bottom. Again, I don't know what these other people around me are using. These fish in here are probably smelling so much different crap. Ah, chum a little out there. One more scent in the water. All right, dude, we're rolling. This is the tide. This is the place. Just gonna bait and wait. Again, this is one pond, and then there's another pond over there. We're gonna move around, I guess. See, you know, what's going on. I'm just interested to see, like, if there are catfish in here, how big are they? And if there are carp in here, will they eat this corn, and how big are they? We gotta be fighting a freaking monster on this little thing, dude. Which is, it's just, that would be so fun. Whew, so I guess it's only a matter of time now. We got this whole bench to ourselves, man, too. Got them positive vibes out here. It's just a nice day, man. Overall, we got the blue skies, super nice feeling breeze. We got the water, we got the route, we got the corn, we got a dream. Hey, remind me too, when we get a run, don't set the hook with the circle hook. Sometimes I get a little too excited. You're just supposed to kind of like reel into it. And uh, yeah, it's supposed to get them on the corner of their mouth, have them not swallow the whole thing and your kernels. I don't think I mentioned this either, but they gave me like a rules book. And on the back, it, I, I guess it just had a bunch of rules. They have like people driving around, making sure you're following all the rules. One of them is that you can only have one rod in the water um, at a time. So if you're wondering why, like, yeah, we only got one rod, that is the reason. I guess I could have put like a high low rig or something on here. You're allowed up to two hooks, I think it said too. I don't know, we're just gonna run with this for now. Honestly though, the water here just like, just looks so good. Like it's so clear, you almost like wanna drink it. So with this rig, I showed you guys how the egg sinker moves back and forth, basically, this fish picks up the hook with the corn in it and puts it in his mouth, starts swimming away. It's not going to feel that resistance or that pressure. Ooh, we just got bonked. Hello? As I was saying, it's not going to feel that resistance or pressure, so it's not going to be like, oh, let me spit that out. I don't know if fish just swam into it, if that was the wind or what the heck's going on. Let's investigate here for a second. Might have been the wind. I don't know. It kind of looked like a bonk, though. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, that's pretty much the point of this rig. So the fish eats it, swims away with it, doesn't feel like it's caught. And then when you see your stuff going, boom. Kind of what a real but I'm a little nervous, dude. One of my concerns here is like there's kind of like this like grate on the bottom in some places. Not grate, but kind of like a lining type thing. I got hung up on it the other day. I don't want to lose my snap swivel. <laughs> That's one of the things about fishing like this. You just never know, you know? You could literally be sitting there for like a while and you just don't have any bait in the water. Or you could be snagged. Or a fish could have it. You never know, you know? Giant red Gyarados. Just sitting on the bottom with it. All right, we're just gonna reel this back in. Off the bottom, 
So we do not get snagged. What are we looking like? Oh yeah, we were in some grass. Still got the corn on though. I think it's okay if we're like in, around, or near the grass. These catfish, honestly, they have so many taste buds over their whole body. They should definitely either taste it, smell it. I mean, this is some premium stuff right there, man. This, this is not Walmart corn. Today, too, for like the first time ever. Like, that was one of the ones that didn't have one of the tops where you could just pop the top of the corn. It was actually really nice. We were in the RV, just popped it, came out here, just dropped it. I'm just hoping they like corn, though. I mean, like I would say earlier, all these people have different baits in, different smells, different flavors. These catfish, they're in here probably like, huh? Like sensory overload. I know they want the corn though. Who wouldn't? All right. We stayed in that spot uh, maybe like 20, 30-ish minutes. Let's head over this way a little bit. This looks pretty good. Oh yeah, I'm liking this actually. Right there. Can't forget the Walmart corn. Dude, these people over there, they are cooking up burgers and hot dogs. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna pour some juice out here. The wind is gusting this way. So we were like into the wind last time. But yeah, now we're like opposite way. I'm hoping that this corn and all the other corn we just threw in there, the wind might push the scent out and it might be like a little trail that they could follow back like a little, little breadcrumb trail. Those burgers and hot dogs smell so good, dude. When we catch a catfish, you think we could like exchange it? For like a hot dog. Jeez. Okay. That's something. Dude, you almost took my freaking rod in the water. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. What the heck is that? Ooh, jeez. First one of the day. Come here, boy. Thrashing. That's definitely a catfish. Oh. Gee, that dude got some long whiskers. All right, come here. Okay. Right on the tip of the corner of the mouth. All right. Oh, my gosh, dude. I've never seen whiskers that long. What the heck? He's speaking to us. All right, man. First fish of the day on the corn. Beautiful, that's a channel cat, right? He's got an ant crawling on him. We're just gonna let dude go right here. Pretty sure the guy said you can release catfish and bass. I don't know, dude looks like he's been scratched up a little bit. Whew. Thank you so much, buddy. Oh man, little dude almost took the freaking rod in the water. What the heck? All right, loaded back up. I'm actually listening to these people talking over here. This guy said that last week they were catching 15 20 pounders in here. He also said somebody caught an albino catfish. Dude, that's actually pretty sick though. In the middle of New Mexico, we got mountains in the back. We just caught our first catfish. First ever New Mexican catfish. That is definitely why you loosened your drag though. Especially with these circle hooks. I mean, those just run with it, man. He almost yoinked the rod in the water. I don't know. Apparently, there's some big ones in here. Or at least there were. I'm not a scientist, but we're trying to discover some science. I keep seeing a carp. I think it's the same grass carp. Maybe it's another one. I don't know. It's multiple, but uh, they keep rolling right around here. It seems like every time I toss a little bit of corn in there, see dude kind of pop back up like he's circling over here. I don't, do they eat corn? I don't know. If they do, why aren't they eating? Like, are they smart? Probably like, yo, this like loaded corn hook looks awfully suspicious i keep telling y'all man it's not always about catching fish sometimes it's just about being out here it is like some animal planet stuff i don't know if you guys can see oh my gosh he's just like swimming so smooth kicked his legs it's just gliding i have no clue what kind of tree this is but i was looking at it a little closer there are some big old thorns on it and uh they have these little flowers and these little things hanging, like little leaves on it the geese were eating the leaves from the tree. I was like, oh, that's interesting. I never really see geese eat trees. And I pan over this way. There's like eight, you can see some right there. Super vibrant dragonflies. And dragonflies are just like, honestly, some of the coolest insects, bugs, like Loki, they're slept on, man. They're so freaking cool. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. 
This place, man. I bought two wristbands, 40 bucks total pretty much. They're like $18 each. I think I need to do one more time and we need to get a little bit of revenge out here. Now that we kind of have like a feel for it, let me know, man. Apparently their bass are biting pretty good top water. Uh, somebody told me that. And then also like we could do maybe sort of like a little catch and cook. What do you guys think? Bring it over there to the camper. Cook some stuff up New Mexican way. I don't know like if there's a New Mexican specialty way of cooking. Let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, man, that is pretty much it for this video. I just finished up editing it for the most part. It was kind of like all over the place. We're going to be doing like a lot of different stuff here. I know the fishing in the past couple of videos hasn't been like super crazy awesome great like we went through a period where it was like super awesome fishing and then it like is down a little bit but we're just like traveling through some areas i guess well we were in the desert and stuff but as i said in this video we're getting to like the really good trout fishing areas and just good fishing in general and yeah man just be on the lookout because these next couple of videos hopefully are going to be really freaking awesome also if you're not yet already make sure to check out our other channel it's like a vlog travel type channel me and kelsey and camper i'll link it up here we've been doing a lot of videos on there and it's been so much fun i appreciate the heck out of all you guys for showing love over there and uh yeah man on this channel as well we're trying to upload as many videos as possible on this fishing channel i said this before man this year first day fishing it's going to be unleashed and there's so much stuff i want to get done so many fish to catch so many places to fish as always just thank you guys so much for all the support that's pretty much it here for this video again if you did enjoy this please make sure to go down there hit that thumbs up button i know it was kind of all over the place again and also uh if you are not yet already or if you're new here make sure to go down there hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload also i've been posting a lot on instagram i don't really plug that all too much but uh yeah we've posted stories and stuff on there as always let's keep this rolling man thank you guys for watching See you next video. You wanna know just where?